Hello everyone, this is Boyan speaking from the Liquidity team and today I want to talk about uh, redemptions a little bit, what they are, how they work and how you can protect yourself <clears throat> from being redeemed. So redemptions come into play when you borrow or where you, when you take out uh, a leverage position. So um, you influence the risk of redemptions by your interest rate. The lower your interest rate is, the less you're paying for your loan, the higher your redemption risk is and vice versa. If you increase your rate, if you increase what you are paying for your loan, your redemption risk goes down. But what are redemptions in the first place? Let's head over to our docs and have a look there. So redemptions are a peg maintenance mechanism. So they serve the crucial purpose of keeping bold peg to the US dollar. And an important fact about that is that they do this in a decentralized way without reliance on centralized assets or third parties. Why is that important? Because it ties into everything what Liquidity does. We want things to be as decentralized, as resilient, immutable, ideally, permissionless as possible. And literally every other stablecoin employs either centralized assets like USDC or some type of governance to handle peg maintenance. Redemptions do not rely, do not need any of that. Okay, so how do redemptions work now? Let me start out by saying that anyone can be a redeemer. But experience shows that the vast majority or pretty much all redemptions are done by bots. So if you as a user want to repay your loan, reduce your debt, you do that on the front end. It has nothing to do with redemptions. You can either repay a part of your loan, reduce it by any amount you want, or you close your loan. This means that you are repaying your full debt. I repeat, redemptions have nothing to do with repaying or reducing your debt. A redemption is really nothing else but a swap within the Liquidity V2 protocol. The redeemer will send his bolt to the system and get back an equal value of collateral assets. Where is the collateral coming from? It is coming from borrowers, so from other users. I will explain how, when, why this makes sense. For the time being, just remember a redemption is just a swap from bolt to collateral assets. So first thing to know is that within Liquidity V2, Bolt is always valued at exactly $1. While on the open market, of course, it can fluctuate. It can be at, above or below $1. And only when it is below $1, redemptions make sense. Only then they are profitable. What happens next? A user or most likely a bot notices this discrepancy and it sends $99,000 to Uniswap or to some other DAX purchasing 100,000 bolt. This swap, this increased demand is what brings the price of bolt up closer to PEG again. It then sends those 100,000 bolt to the protocol where the protocol decreases the debt of the affected users, of the affected borrowers, and in return sends $100,000 worth of collateral assets to the redeemer, netting him a 1K profit. Let's look at redemptions from the borrower's perspective. We said that redemptions only make sense, they are only profitable when bold trades below $1. But because there is also a redemption fee the redeemer needs to pay, which is at minimum half a percent, Bolt needs to trade at $0.995 dollars 
or below. Otherwise, it's economically not feasible. No. If those conditions are indeed met and a redemption is processed, the borrower will lose an equal amount of collateral assets, but an equal amount of debt will be cancelled out as well. So his debt will be reduced. If he loses 10k of collateral assets, the same amount of bold debt will be reduced as well. So at the moment of a redemption, the collateral assets and the debt are reduced equally and the aforementioned redemption fee is sent to the borrower as well. Now, there might be thousands of borrowers, thousands of active loans in the system. So how does the system decide which borrowers will get affected? The answer lies in the interest rate the users are paying. The less you're paying, the higher your chance of getting redeemed. So when you are taking out a loan, when you are deciding on your interest rate, of course you can set yourself a very low rate, but then you need to monitor your position much more actively. You need to adjust it much more frequently than if you have a higher rate. There's the option also to delegate that, but we won't be going into this uh, in this explainer right now. So let's have a look at the practical example of a redemption. Let's say each of those dots is 100,000 bold. A redeemer is sending 400,000 bold to the system, which now needs to be burned. This debt needs to be reduced. So we have 400,000 bold sent to the system. First, this user gets uh, redeemed, he gets fully redeemed. This means that his debt gets cancelled out, but an equal amount of his collateral is sent to the redeemer. The system then moves on to the second one. Again, full cancellation of the debt, equal amount of collateral sent out, and this trove, this loan is also fully redeemed. The next one is only a partial redemption. Again, the remaining 100,000 bolt are found here, they are reduced, the debt is reduced, and an equal amount of collateral is sent to the redeemer. So we have one, two, three, four hundred thousand um, dollars worth of collateral sent and an equal amount reduced from the system. As a final fact, I want to mention that there are three collateral types within Liquid V2. And when a redemption happens, all of them are affected by it. As a result, the redeemer always receives a mix of collateral assets. He cannot choose which one he wants to receive. In the example, you can see here 28%, 33% and 39%. How this split is determined is based on the outside debt for each collateral market. If you want to learn more about that, please check our docs or the white paper. But this now concludes this redemption explainer. I hope this was useful. But if you have questions, do head over to our Discord. Thank you very much.